What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Gaming with the Bros Cast, episode 121. That's a, that's a palindrome, right? One, two, one. That is palindrome. Yeah, okay. That's our first our first palindrome. No, 111, that, that was another palindrome. I think it has to be like one, two, just to say it's no, it like... it can't be just a, all the same number. I don't think so. I could very much be wrong. I just, I literally just thought of palindrome on the spot, so... Damn, um, our first palindrome. Yeah, God, I didn't even plan a celebration for us. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> I did. I did like your tweet though. The uh, everyone's asking what we're doing for our 120 <laughs> episode. It's another episode. <laughs> everyone, well, welcome to the show, everyone. We are gaming with the Broscast. Yes, my name are. is Harrison. I am joined by my brother Nick. As always, Nick, how was your how was your week? Oh man, it was great. I went to a concert on Friday. I went to see the band Camino. Okay. Um, it's not the first COVID con or not the first concert I've gone to since COVID, but it's one of the first ones like I've been really excited about. Um, but went had a great time, got got a little tipsy, and then uh, had some McDonald's delivered at nice. about midnight. Oh, it just it hit so hard, man. So why why McDonald's? Was that just the only thing that was open around you? No, or you just was stealing it, some McDonald's. It wasn't. It wasn't me that brought up the idea. Uh, okay. It was, it was. It was my lovely fiance who <laughs> who brought it up as soon as we got in the Uber. And this was the first Uber that we that I've taken in like two years as well. And really, yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I don't know how we've gotten away with not using an Uber, but yeah. Right when we got in it, she was like, "Should we get McDonald's?" I was like, "Yes, we should get McDonald's." Should get McDonald's. So so we got like four. We have four McChickens uh some fries 20 mcnuggets i mean we oh we went gosh. hard yeah i mean because we didn't really eat dinner because the concert started at like seven yeah so we got we got there pretty early we got there and we had like these stiff double shot vodka sodas that i think they held the soda on it <laughs> Either that or they just like sprinkled it on top uh, yeah, generally, if you go to like clubs and shows and stuff, they they're usually pretty pretty heavy handed on. Well, I hope they are because the drinks were like fifteen or no, they were like eighteen bucks each. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it was, it was more economical to do the double because that only added six dollars to the additional <laughs> whatever it was. But yeah, it's kind of ridiculous pricing at at uh these these concert venues. That's that's but, insane. But yeah, it was a great time, and then just celebrated some other friends who were getting married did like a wedding shower for them and then sunday just chilled out had some hot pot did some did some shopping at old navy got some old got navy. some got some outfits for vegas on thursday old navy is is probably like my favorite like i mean you could spend some money there but like low-end shopping like that's where i get like most of my t-shirts from is old navy because like it's super good like five too. bucks of like a pop and they're they're like really good quality so mm-hmm. yeah I love yeah, about, yeah about these uh these like khaki pants yeah and they're they kind of like they're kind of like lululemon pants like those really like nice uh like sleek pants except yeah. they were like 45 bucks so compared to you know 120 dollars for those yeah pretty good price <laughs> Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, yeah, Old Navy, man. I'm I'm about slaps, to be, man. Gotta be repping Old Navy in Vegas, and that's gonna be like all of my outfits over those three days is gonna be all hey, where old you get navy. That fit from the old the old ah, nave. Got the, the old in. <laughs> <laughs> How's your weekend? How you doing? Uh, it was good. I um this is probably the first week in uh, as long as I can remember that I have not played a single video game. Wow, I have not played anything. I, I saw you. I saw you taking Immortals off the list, and I expected you to replace it with something, and I didn't see anything. No, I and it's not nothing against Immortals. I, I like it, but I've I spent most of the week just kind of preparing myself to. Um, I've, I've for the video watchers, um, I've mm-hmm. rearranged my uh, office slash game room yet again. Uh, I've probably done it about ten times now. It's not. It's not yeah. done. I've still got some boxes here and there. Um, but I, I ordered a capture card, um, the the new Elgato capture card. Uh, oh, so I want to start streaming one. again. And I was thinking about like I was just I asked Brittany the other night. 
because my 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 desk was up kind of set up to the right and then my tv is on another wall and it's yeah. i mean it's a 55 inch tv so it's, it's a big tv so i don't really have a lot of options and i've already mounted it and i don't want to take it off because the screws are so big yeah. um that goes to the wall i just i don't want to have to like spackle them that. again and then repaint i just don't want to do that so i was like well maybe i can have my setup where it normally is and then like have some wires across the floor or something every time i stream but i was like you know i really don't want to have to deal with that mm-hmm. so i was like you know what let me let me move everything over see how i like it and i like it a lot because i did have like a big black table and i've taken that out now and have a lot more room in here um which is which is really nice um but friday i the problem is is like my desk is only so big so I can't okay. fit my desktop on the desk with both monitors. So okay, yeah, that's a problem. I have to, and I have to have my room for my switch, which I, I have my switch behind my monitor, which is fine. There's plenty of room, but I have the Series X, which I will stream from, and then I have my, of course, my my desktop, my PC, actual PC. So I needed some, and I didn't want to just have it on the floor because dogs and dust and dog hair and and it would destroy it. Yeah. Um, so I spent like two hours Friday going to like Walmart Target. Um, I went to like Michael's. I was trying to find like a table that could go underneath my desk. And okay, but it had to be so tall or, or like at least off the floor, but low enough to where my desktop and Series X could both fit vertically. Um, oh, vertically. Yes, vertically. Well, Xbox, I can I can tilt on the side. Well, I, I've actually got it sitting up because um, there there wasn't a lot of room. But I had mm-hmm. uh, so I spent two hours doing that. Couldn't find anything. I found a couple of like the little cubicles, like little like the, the three port cubicle thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, and I could turn it on its side, but it was still too tall. Um, based on what what because like I measured like the table and stuff. So I didn't I didn't find anything. And then Sunday or Saturday. I was in my shed and was just looking through the wood and I was like, well, maybe I can build something. And I found an old, like, um, uh, oh, what's it called? Shelf that was already painted purple, which perfect. was perfect. Yeah. Like, Cause I used to, I used to have it hanging up for my Amiibos. So I, Saturday I repainted it. And then I, uh, went to my local, like Harbor, Harbor store and bought some wheels, put some wheels on it. And now it's, Picasso, oh, baby. Man. It looks it looks beautiful. Nice. So, and so got, it has your Xbox on it, right? Yeah, it's got my Xbox, it's got my PC, and then like the, the power strip or whatever. Oh, so it's pretty um, big. Yeah, so it's pretty big. Yeah, it's 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 pretty long. Um it fits all those like pretty, pretty perfect. And my like my external hard drive. So uh it works out pretty good. So I'm I'm excited for that because I I didn't know what I was gonna do if I didn't have I, I figured I was gonna have to build something, but right. Um yeah. But you have both your monitors on your desk? Yeah, now. both monitors. Every yeah, every, the, pretty much okay. the exact setup I had before because bef- prior that big table I had my um, PC sitting on it, so I didn't have enough room yeah. before, anyways, without that big table. So that was like my biggest ruling against moving everything because I knew I would have to have my PC on the floor or underneath mm-hmm. my desk. So it it worked it works out good. So oh man, I wish I had a room like yours. Like I I I have like an itch to like just rearrange this room but it wouldn't do me any good like it wouldn't do me any good to to move the couch to where i'm sitting now or anything like that because it wouldn't change your your room looks like it's a little bit bigger than mine is Uh, yeah Uh, yeah it might be i think yeah actually yeah it's well this is like a bedroom so yeah because i can like i could maybe fit like an office or office uh a couch right behind me Mm -hmm. um yeah we have a full-sized or double couch, yeah. full bed, whatever. But I was thinking about getting like one of those like beanbag chairs or something. Yeah. And just putting it back there. So when I'm like gaming and not streaming or nothing, I can just, you can just uh, chill. Just chill. Yeah. You can get a rocker chair <laughs> like, yeah. like we used to have. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> those are nice. But adding, adding on to the, uh, the not last year, we were talking about um, just like post COVID and, and going, or during COVID too, like going to the store and you just kind of want to ignore people. There's uh-huh. not, there's not a better vibe out there that when you're by yourself 
in like a Walmart or Target or something, you throw in your AirPods and you just listen to music and you walk around. And you just it's, freaking vibe out. Man. And just vibe just, out. Just and it's and it's also the greatest like um fight against like the and, and no hate or anything towards these people, but you know, the people that are selling like cable and stuff, like in Walmart and stuff like that. Uh-huh. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Do they come up to you and talk to you? You know, they have like they always have like an electronics section. They have like their tables spread out, and they have like their their direct TV stuff. Oh, and they're sure. like, yeah, they're like, hey, uh, what cable you, company you, you got? Do you know what TV is? Yeah, um, you just throw those bad boys on, you just walk right by them, and, <laughs> and you could hear them, and you just ignore them because you just ignore them because you can out. because you have in your your earphones. Yeah, so it's okay. It's a beautiful thing, man. Nice. Oh, speaking beautiful. of uh, speaking of, I don't know how to segue this. I bought the zelda encyclopedia oh nice okay yeah i was reading through it the other day and it's, yeah it's cool it's pretty cool yeah you have the you have the other one right i have the uh the historia um, the historia okay yeah they're sure, they're all it, they're all available on amazon i I yeah just decided to go with the encyclopedia because i like looking at all the items and stuff and yes yeah there's a lot there's like like developers notes for all the games and there's a lot of really interesting stuff in those so if anyone is like a Zelda fan, I'd, I'd, I mean, you might already have them, but the, uh, like the Zelda, the three Zelda books on Amazon, yeah. those are pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. It was so, I, I mainly did that this week. Um, and then I also purchased, uh, these plastic sleeves for my N64 games and Game Boy I games. Saw. Yeah. So I've got, um, all of our Game Boy game, all of our Game Boy color games, stash and like their their protective sleeves okay. and all the n64 and then i put it back up in the in the attic and then eventually when i have a an area where i can display everything i'll, I'll pull everything out but um yeah you it looks get, super nice super you nice. could get a shelf to put behind you in yeah, place of I that had, zelda i had a shelf something. but I, I don't know i ended up tossing it it was like some like kind of crummy walmart press board shelf um mm-hmm. that didn't that didn't last very long um yeah. yeah but yeah i eventually want to get uh you know a shelf and stuff but do you, probably do you not have... here i think I'm, i think i'm done buying stuff for like, this room furniture wise yeah and here yeah because like you'll move eventually and you, the room the room you get is probably going to be bigger than this one so you don't want to just like scale down yeah for and this room I, specifically. I pulled like i pulled everything out of this room um and and vacuumed and uh for some reason i get like really bad ants down here and i don't know why we get we have like random areas in our house where there's ants Mm -hmm. even if there's like no food or anything like i don't eat down here like i just have my drinks so it's like i'm sitting here working i'm like an ant like crawls on my leg i'm like why is there an ant on my leg why are you here why are you here right now so i i sprayed like ant spray and stuff Um, i pulled everything out and I always say, it, but I, I'm I'm gonna dread when we move because just in my game room alone is so much shit. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of heavy stuff in there. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna text you some ant traps. Okay, because we use one in Charlotte, and it's like this little like tubey that ants crawl into. They kind of get this little like juice in yeah. there, and they like it, and they bring it back to their ant colony, and it kills all of them okay and it, it has worked every time we've used it like somehow ants got in our car yeah so we just put it like we put it in the middle on the console and there were like 50 ants in there yeah by the time we were done with it and yeah it's great i i'll, I'll text you a link to it but yeah it, I, we know really how they're getting into the house and I've, I've sprayed like the area and like they're we're um and like our living room in the basement like you know, Kellen eats chips, so I get it. Like, we, you know, we always try to tell him to throw yeah. his stuff away, but sometimes he forgets, and, and ants get around there, and I, that I understand. But like my office, I don't understand. Both our bathrooms will get ants like crazy, and like I don't know if they go for like the toothpaste or like the listerine or something. Go for that that minty listerine. But uh, it's yeah, it, it drives me like insane. Like I like. Ugh. D- did we ever have ants in our game room when we were growing up? I don't think so. Don't yeah. Think okay. So. For all the for all the listeners, we we had like a game, like a sweat 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 lounge 
Sweaty, well, room. I say sweaty, sweaty, sweaty lounge. Um, all the, all the, all of our friends would come over and we'd all like game in there. And we had like two TVs in there normally. And sometimes we'd add a third. Yeah, it got so sweaty in there. Um, it was so hot. Oh yeah. With God. all, with all the bodies and then all the electronics running, it would just get so hot. And our buddy Adam would rage, so it would just increase the intensity of the heat. Yeah, he he'd rage at Call of Duty and then yell at me to go fix the internet connection (laughs) because we were running off of like two mega two megabits per second or something like that. It was bad for a while. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um but our mom would always come in and uh say, Oh my god, it's so stinky in here. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, this is three old this is three old uh three day old farts and sweat and (laughs) And popcorn and goldfish just popcorn. marinating, yeah. <laughs> burn and diorite, oh, Mountain Dew. Classic. Diorite. That's so good. Then you bring that back. Yeah. I don't know why they, they took it away. Well, yeah, anyways, <laughs> let's, uh, I have not, like I said, I have not been playing anything. I've just been rearranging and, and cleaning and, and stuff all week. Um, but Nick, you have been playing some stuff. You, you got a new game. I did. I did. I got a new game. Before I before I talk about that, I finished up Death Loop. I wrapped it up and I tied a bow on it, and then I put it back in its spot. Um, I don't know why I use that analogy, but <laughs> I I really enjoyed it. I liked the ending. Um, I think when on the last episode, I was probably about seventy five percent of the way through the game, and I was just about to get to the point where I could play through the entire uh, four levels in yeah. succession and try to beat the game and i was i was i was right in that thought and i was right there at the end um so i i just had to play through the loop like two more times and then i was ready to do all of it and then i did it all first try it wasn't too bad like i i heard that the game was progressively supposed to get harder as you go through it like the enemies were supposed to become more aggressive and powerful but that really wasn't the case um just because like i had all these powers and I have this really cool move where you can link up like if 10 people are standing around each other, you can link them all up with a power and then you can just shoot one of them in the head and all of them will die. Oh, wow. But there, there's this point at the end where you're at this party and you don't have to kill all the people there, but if you aggro one of them, you're going to aggro all 50 of them. And that's what I did because I'm not sneaky enough and I'm a, I'm a terrible thief or terrible assassin. Uh, so I aggroed everybody at the party and had to kill like the three visionary there's three visionaries there and then um juliana came as well and she just kind of appeared out of nowhere so yeah i kind of used that move and just it was it was so easy to take them all out because i could link them all together is, is juliana is she um is she scripted or does she really just show up kind of randomly she'll, she'll show up randomly it it tells you when she's coming and She's hunting you, so she she doesn't know exactly where you are unless you aggro somebody. Um, but she's yeah, it's not technically scripted. I think she's like supposed to show up on certain levels when you're doing a certain thing, but it's not like necessarily scripted. Did, did anyone ever like invade invade you or anything like that? Like real people? Yeah. Uh, it happened once, and then I switched to single player because <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm not gonna have, I'm not gonna let this ruin my run. Yeah. Uh, in my in my opinion, that was a dumb addition to the game. I don't think they should have wasted resources on having like that side of the the game where you're like protecting the loop as Juliana. Yeah, I just I think it's pointless. I'm never gonna pl- I'm never gonna play as Juliana because I don't want to ruin someone's run. Yeah, you know it's I don't know yeah. it, it it kind of reminds me of of Dark Souls where like you're invading somebody else, but I don't know for some reason in Dark Souls is a lot more like I don't know it's a lot more comical. It's a lot lot more joyous in a way whereas in yeah. death loop i'm like okay well now i can't leave the level until i either kill juliana or go to this place and kind of unlock the door to get out so it's kind of dumb i don't know I, that's just my opinion but um but yeah and then i played through the game got one of the endings and it was strictly because i didn't know that if i would have pulled the trigger it would have done something i was like oh this is a cutscene. i'm not supposed to do anything and then i got the the t- the bad ending technically oh gosh i was like okay and it's not really the bad ending in my opinion in my opinion it's it's one of the happier endings so i just went on youtube and watched the watched the other two and they they really weren't too different 
um, from, from the one that I had. But yeah, I enjoyed it. I don't think it's like a masterpiece like people said it was when it initially came out. I think it's like an 8 out of 10 game. It's it's great. It's not like amazing. I still kind of agree with your sentiment sentiment from last week where you said that the the gunplay and the movement in arcane games just never feels never feels right. Right, right. Like they like almost nail it, but then it just yeah. I don't I, know. I, yeah, it just feels very heavy sometimes. It feels heavy. Yeah, and I think they got closest with prey yes. of making it feel making it feel good to play. Yeah. But but you, even pray like the first like hour or so i was like i don't know and then this I is just, moving a little weird yeah, yeah. And, then, and then i just got engrossed in like the the environment and story so that, that kind of pushed me through yeah it kind of made up for it yeah um but yeah it's it's a great game i, I mean it's like 25 bucks so it's not yeah super cheap yeah it's not it's not too expensive if if anyone's interested in it um but aside from that i put out a poll on twitter because I was I was thinking about a few games. I was thinking about uh, Dark Deity, this indie game on the Switch that is almost exactly like Fire Emblem, and it was inspired by it. Except it's just not as like technically savvy. It's got some bugs, so I was kind of wary because it was like thirty bucks. Um, I was thinking about Triangle Strategy because I played the demo and I loved that. And then what was my other game? Uh, like Death Scamp. It was like a two D Metroidvania. Yeah. And I think I that was that on sale. It, it might have been at one point. Okay, I feel like I've seen that game recently. You might you should look into that game. You might like yeah. it. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I put out that poll, and like everyone said to get Triangle Strategy, so I picked it up. Picked it up at Target. Nice. I, I told you that's how that's how it was going to end. I was going to end up at a Target, and just end up picking it up. But I'm on like chapter seven now, and the story is utterly fantastic. It is it is so cool. It it kind of reminds me of like a Game of Thrones type story in a way. Um and it's also cool because like I had this moment where I was choosing between two things. And in order to do either of those things, I had to convince my party members to do whatever I wanted to do. So I was trying to take the stand our ground. Um stand our ground route as opposed to giving someone up the, and I'm being very vague, but giving someone up to an opposing force versus standing your ground. And I was trying to get people to stand their ground. And the, like the, the, the text choices that I made, didn't convince people. So that like took me down a like, completely different path in the game where now I'm like doing something I don't want to do. Like right. I, I did not want to do this thing. And I, and I feel like that's kind of cool because like, I could have I could have safe stumped and gone back. Yeah. I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna play this out. I'm gonna do it how I would in real life where I can't redo a decision. And I feel like that's kind of cool because like I don't necessarily agree with what I'm doing, but that's just how that's how the cards are played. Yeah. So I'm just going along that's with cool. it. Yeah. So it's there, there's been a couple of like decisions like that where like, oh, you're either gonna go here or you're gonna go here. And there was like one big one at the beginning of the game and I don't know how that impacted further events, but this one seems like it has like a pretty big impact on the game. And I feel like there's a lot more of those where you have like, you know, your, your eight confidants that you're going around to trying to convince them to do something. And then they'll like individually vote, and you might, you might get them on your side. You might not, but that's like the, the cool part of it. Uh, and aside from the story of the combat, is really fun it's it's a little clunky to kind of like move around the camera i don't know if you ever played like a final fantasy tactics game uh, yeah briefly uh, yeah yeah I, I think i briefly played one but i i mean i guess it's similar to fire emblem just because it's a grid-based tactics game but it's more um there's more verticality to it okay and well, well there yeah, i guess there is verticality to it there's not really verticality in fire emblem but there's like buffs you get if you're an archer and you go up high and snipe oh. people from above and you know stuff like that but really enjoying it i yeah really like this game it's gonna be a good plane game when i'm flying yeah. to uh, las vegas this weekend so yeah it's been fun it's a fun game Sweet. yeah Sweet. definitely glad i picked it up yeah 
I, I did pick up some from Target. Um, I was like, I have to get something. I, I ended up getting the uh, the the collection of um, uh, Kirby amiibos. I got Meta Knight, Kirby, oh, and then nice. uh, King Dedede. So it's like I have to get something. <laughs> it's, did Did you have either one of those? Or I did. did you have no. any of those? Okay. Mm. Did you have a Kirby at all? I didn't have a Kirby at all. No. Dang. I just saw them. They were like on like a random shelf. But like there was like four or five a piece of them. Um, mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, I'll get them. Why not? Add to the collection. I saw a Kirby, and I thought about getting it. Yeah, but I never, never went through with it. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking about it now. Thinking about yeah, those Amiibo. Cool. Yeah, I love them. I think I think I'm being Kellen Counted. I'm up to like 52 now. I think. So 30 of them are Zelda. Uh, what? <laughs> 30 of them are Zelda. Yeah, they really are. <laughs> Got so many Zelda. Ugh. So many Zelda. Um, anything else you've been playing? That's pretty much it. Yeah, just Deathloop and Triangle Strategy. Sweet. Yeah. Well, you want to jump into the news? Yeah, we've actually had a lot of, a lot yes. of interesting stuff happen this week. Yeah, it's it's been a really good week for for news actually. Um, Nintendo's just kind of dropping dropping stuff like crazy. I like it. Just tweet um, out. Halo. We'll start with Halo first. Uh, Halo Infinite is getting uh, obviously season two is getting ready to come out here yep. on May third. Um, it's getting new mo- new modes. Uh, Last Spartan Standing, which they they did a brief trial of it in this current season. Um, like very brief. Right. Very yeah, very brief. I don't I don't know if this is the exact same or if this is kind of a uh, sort of variation. Yeah, variation of that. Um, but it's kind of like no, it's not a battle royale mode, but it's you know the last last to die. Um, and you have like certain amount of lives, right? Certain certain amount of lives. I think mm-hmm. when you get a kill, you get a better weapon. I think. Uh, and there's also like, um. The red wall or whatever you want to call it that comes in, uh, yeah, you know, creates uh, choke points and stuff like that. Uh, but they have it on like the the big team battle map, so um, so it's pretty, pretty big. Cool. I mean, yeah, so pretty pretty large. Um, I don't know how many people. I don't know how many players it is though. I think maybe ten or twelve, something like that. Um, okay. And then they have what King of the Hill as well. I think King of the Hill coming. Yeah, that's one of the so. new ones. And then one more, right? stronghold not strongholds but um is it strongholds actually it might be strongholds you probably know <laughs> it was season two modes you know the land grab land grab yeah okay okay um but yeah that's coming I'm, I'm excited i'm excited to jump back in and see see what they do with that um so you're gonna be back in day one I think so. Yeah, I come, it's on a Tuesday, I think. Pass. So I'll I'll probably probably stream it or something. But you know, get back into that battle pass. See what see what it's see what it's all about. I think it's ironic that it's called Lone Wolves and we we still don't have co op yet. Well, I guess it's not ironic. I think it's I guess it's perfectly it's, split it's out. on brand. It's on brand, yeah. Uh, which co op I think is not. I think they are shooting for an August release date, which is uh, it's just crazy. It's crazy that that they still don't have that in there. So. But, so they put out a uh, a roadmap, right? Yeah. Um, that's that's the campaign network co-op. Okay. Is late August, but I don't think I don't think that's the actual campaign co-op, right? That's just like the network test. Oh, really? And then the campaign split. Oh, wait, maybe maybe it is. Maybe it is because campaign split screen co-op is TBD. But yeah. campaign network co-op. Okay, yeah, that's that's late August. Uh campaign mission replay, also late August. And then Forge open beta is a September target. My God, how do they expect these to launch with Halo Infinite back in I have no idea. November of last year. Jesus. But they should have delayed it. I, you know, I yeah. I know we were saying a different story when it came out. But they should yeah. have delayed this game another year, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah probably. Um, I mean, I, I have my fun with it. I mean, I, you know, no, I had a great time. Yeah, it, yeah, it sucks. Campaign or co-op wasn't on there at start at the end of launch, but 
you know, I, I just think they had to get it out and just get in and get the people's hands, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I don't know if just, again, we talked about it last week, but you know, Halo hasn't always been, um, you know, uh, the drip feed content like we talked about, but I you think know, they just but, weren't ready for, yeah, for that amount of content and then, and those expectations, like they, they had to have known that releasing two maps with season two just wasn't going to be enough. Like, so this goes from what's, what's June, July, August, September, October, November. So that's six, it's six months, the typical season for how long is like the call of duty stuff. Yeah. If anyone, if anyone knows, let us know. But I thought they were like max, like three months. Three. I thought three was, t- maybe, maybe that's just Fortnite. Yeah, I feel like that's Fortnite. a good. And maybe, I mean, maybe this this battle pass will be even more. I I have no idea, but I mean, I finished the battle pass in like December, I think, or like early January. And granted, you were you were grinding pretty hard. Yeah, I was playing every but... day, but I mean, I was playing seven or eight matches a day, maybe, uh, and and focusing on like the the challenges, and the stuff. challenges and stuff. So I I don't know I I don't know that I feel like six months is, is too long, but you know if they have a lot of great content in there, um, you know maybe, maybe I don't know, but it, yeah, and like maybe they can get away with it because there will be new people joining in and they'll have two battle passes to complete technically. Yeah, so that might increase the longevity of the of the game for them a little bit, but yeah, six months that that seems like a long time. I thought that they expanded or or they delayed the end of season one from like what from like march to may yeah so it, it it turned it from what five months to or four, like four months to six months i was like okay that's that's a long first season i mean yeah, maybe, maybe the next four months shorter. is good I, yeah i really think like it would be three is like the sweet spot but i mean three maybe or four, i think yeah i don't i don't know because i mean but like fortnite like it always I, I need to check out that new build mode too, but um, mm-hmm. before that, I mean, it's always, uh, you know, obviously brand like new skins and just adding to whatever metaverse thing they've got going on in there. And then, whatever you know, they always it. have like some sort of new item or a new like weapon or new, some sort of like, you know, sometimes, sometimes it looks kind of gimmicky, but like, I mean, like they have like the mechs and they have you know, a whole bunch of different stuff. So, yeah. I mean, Spider-Man, like, flying around, like, on, like, web swing, like, it's I mean, just always something different, but, but I feel like, yeah, I feel like those are, like, three months, but I, maybe I could be wrong. I'm not sure. <sighs> yeah, well, I mean, we'll see when it comes out next, next week, but. Yeah, geez. <laughs> it's yeah. coming up. Um, oh, yeah, so is... Nintendo did, like, a little bit of a switcheroo. Well, switcheroo. Well, so... switcher... well, switcheroo. Um, so... Go ahead. <laughs> the first, I'm excited about this one, but the first tweet that they put out was a haha surprise Xenoblade Chronicles 3. It's coming out July 29th instead of September. Yeah. I was like, all right. Yeah. The first reaction is like, all right, why not? Yeah. Summer, yeah. summer, get summer RPG. Yeah. Plenty of time to play it. Perfect. Not going to get bogged down by other games. I love it. And then, and then it gets you thinking, well, if they're moving this game forward, it's it's got to be switching with something or something else is moving back. Yeah. And that game was Splatoon 3 and granted it's technically still coming out in the summer. Still technically summer. Summer goes until September 21st or 22nd or something like that. But, I like your I like your theory though, Nick. Because it, yeah. 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 So here's the so here's the the kicker. So Nintendo Switch Online initially came out in September of the like plus. 2018. Wait, and the original. It, oh, and the original. Okay, okay. Yeah, both, okay. both September. Maybe plus was October. Yeah, I think it was October. <clears throat> um, but if they release a multiplayer game, i.e., Splatoon three, which is huge, it's huge, in, huge in Japan. Like, yeah, very, yeah, very big in Japan. Very huge. Big here. Maybe not as big as like Call of Duty, but still really big here. If they release that at the time of NSO renewals, people will either be renewing or they'll be starting a new subscription because yeah. maybe they haven't had online for a long time because there haven't been any multiplayer games that require it 
if like Fortnite doesn't require it. But Splatoon three, you know, maybe you know, might yeah. you know, spend twenty bucks on a, on a membership. Maybe maybe spend fifty bucks, get that Octo expansion for Splatoon two. Exactly. Call it a day, and that's that's kind of the other part of the story is that Nintendo added uh, the Octo expansion to Splatoon two. Yeah. For yeah. NSO members, yeah, for the, which like, is the, a really the good expansion members. too. It's it's a great single player, and I haven't played um, it yet. Expansion. Yeah, it's really good. Um, yeah, I, I picked that up a while ago when it first came out. Yeah, it's it's awesome. Okay. Yeah, so well, I mean, what do you think about this? What, how do you feel about these these two games switching around? Do you care? You know, I, I mean, I know you're. I haven't you're a played a Xenoblade Chronicles. Maybe this will be the one I do play. I don't know. Um. Obviously, Splatoon, like that's a day one purchase whenever mm-hmm. it comes out for me. Uh, I've, I've Splatoon one and two are, are just amazing, and this looks looks really good too. So, um, yeah, I, I'm excited. I, I think your theory makes a lot of sense. Um, you know, I, I feel like maybe in the future, like September is could be uh, or around September could be a time where we could expect some additions to. NSO or or you know a big game to release around NSO or NSO, around September, so yeah I think that theory makes sense I think it holds up, um, yeah I think it, I think it makes sense when you think about the, the theory timing. yeah the yeah, timing you think about the theory and the timing <laughs> I think it makes sense so we'll see I mean we'll see if Nintendo piles on and, and adds uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games to NSO around this time as well or if they or if they just add it to the current tier to the base tier of nintendo switch online with with nes and snes but i can't see them not yeah trying to sell the the higher tier what is it what is it called what is the higher tier called plus or uh expansion pack right expansion Expansion pack. pack okay Yeah, I, I think I think it definitely comes to expansion pack. I, I think we'll probably I think we'll probably get that within the next few months, like or, mm-hmm. or maybe around September. Um I don't know, maybe I don't know. I don't know when they when they add that. Um Yeah, that's I think we're definitely getting it this year and then Maybe even next year, getting like Wii and GameCube games. I think that could be really just okay. yeah, just huge. Um, but obviously, a lot of people want Game Boy Advance games. Like I, I, I really want Game Boy Advance games. So I couldn't, I couldn't see them adding Wii games. No, you don't think you don't think a lot of Wii, Wii games. No, it's like it's too like proprietary. But it's you got the motion controls with the yeah, but like okay, sure, yeah. I guess I guess you do have the motion controls, but I mean, you got the Joy Cons. You don't, you don't want to play Boom Blocks? I, I want to play Steven Spielberg's greatest hit, but yeah, it's a good game. I just, I just don't, I don't, I don't know if it'll happen. Yeah, I don't know. Um, they also put out a new trailer for Xenoblade Chronicles Three, which probably means nothing to you since you <laughs> haven't played the other games. But <laughs> it looks great. The yeah. battle system looks uh, just as chaotic as one and two, which I'm looking forward to <laughs> getting lost in and not knowing what's going on for the first ten to twenty hours. But yeah, it looks cool. It looks like it's gonna connect one and two in a pretty meaningful way. So looking forward to that. And then they put out a new. It's not really a trailer for Splatoon three, but just a. Uh, oh, what is that? Like just the video of Turf War, just a three minute long Turf War match. Yeah, it was kind of weird because like no other game really showcases like the entire match of something. But then <laughs> I was like, okay, what's I was like, man, this is kind of looking like the Splatoon one and two, where there wasn't like a lot of changes. Mm-hmm. But then, but then they started showing off some really cool, like uh, special modes, like special moves and yeah. stuff. And those yeah. specials are sweet. Yeah, yeah, it looks it looks pretty pretty cool. Like the 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 ink um, slinging thing, whatever it was called, like where you could sling around the yeah, map. Yeah. Like that was super cool. Like that that's gonna add like a ton of verticality to the game so yeah i'm looking forward to what i've seen but just just in that so it, it looks cool i'm liking the specials better in three yes. than i did initially in two yeah so do, do you think this will be like a splatoon 2.5 uh 
like Splatoon 2 was more of a a 1.75. Splatoon 1.75. Yeah, I I mean, multiplayer wise, I I don't know exactly all what they could do differently uh, other than just yeah. like a bunch of new modes or something. Uh, I'm really hoping the campaign is is vastly different than because like one and two's campaign were were so similar with just their their setup like you yeah know, they like were, a little they hub world like that hub. you got to find the invisible what you know everyone's played it but um yeah I hope the campaign is is what's changed the most from the, these two games and I think it will because this one has a name right like the the actual campaign has a name like the something of the mammalians yeah yeah so maybe it's like more themed and less less like a mario game where you're just going into random levels and yeah i hope so yeah i hope yeah yeah, yeah we'll, we'll see but i'm excited either way i'm yeah super excited for splatoon 3 yeah i'm i'm ready man it's been it's been too long since i've played splatoon 2 yeah i love well, oh I play the octa expansion i know yeah i think i think i will it's not. It's not very long. I think it's like a few hours. So, okay. Um, yeah, the levels are really cool. It's pretty. It's pretty different than uh, the main campaign. Gotcha. Yeah, I'll have to to jump in and check that out. Yeah, it's fun. All right, what else we got? Um, and then lastly, Ubisoft. They're 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 itching to be acquired. It looks like. Who's gonna buy them? Microsoft, uh, Sony. Maybe maybe Sony because they they just I mean they they recently are you know announced that they're acquiring Bungie which is going to help in their kind of like live service games because other than that those games they don't really have anything else that's live mm-hmm. live service based. Um, I mean they got like you know Gran Turismo Seven that you, that just came out but you know I I don't know how well that's done and with with the whole kind of the way that's launched has, has not been great. Um, I mean, maybe maybe Ubisoft because they're all their games are live service and just yeah. I, I don't know. I, I've fallen off Ubisoft games in the last like five or six years. Um, mm-hmm. You know, but you know, maybe maybe Sony can not necessarily turn them around, but maybe they have you know they have a bunch of IPs. I mean, gosh bunch of underutilized yeah like split like a, a new splinter cell or something or you know that that's obviously heavily single single player base but then they also have like the the mercs versus spies mode that they could you know bring back in that game or something like that so mm-hmm. uh yeah i mean i think it would probably make the most sense with sony just so they could expand their existing catalog since it's mostly single player but yeah i mean obviously microsoft i I don't see Microsoft making a huge acquisition until until Activision until Activision is done. Yeah, that that would that would verge on monopolizing yeah. the industry if you have Activision or Activision Blizzard and Ubisoft like that. I I don't think I'd want that to happen. No, no, and I, and I think that. In Microsoft case, its case with that, they they probably I feel like they would probably keep those games third party, or not third party, but you know put them on other platforms. Um, yeah, to, just because they are mo- mostly live service games. So, um, but I yeah, I could see Sony doing it, but yeah, I don't see Microsoft. I I don't know if but Sony I, could afford it. I don't know. Like, does Sony have enough capital to? Yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty big. I mean, they're not Microsoft big, but I don't know. I feel like Ubisoft that would be like at least in the ten ten billions, right? I mean, Bungie was what? How much was but three billion? I think three billion. Was it three billion? I think so. Okay. I, I could see Ubisoft being like thirty, thirty billion, thirty or forty. If, yeah. if Activision is supposed seventy, yeah. Which still blows my mind. Then, yeah, so one of the biggest entertainment acquisitions ever, which is insane. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, thirty or forty. Is that worth it to Sony? I don't know. I don't know if he'd be thirty or forty because the the only reason that Activision is so high is because of uh, Call of Duty. Yeah, like that's a big 
that's a big franchise but like in terms of ubisoft franchises like what like you have assassin's creed which can only sell so much can only have so much player retention so many microtransactions whatever yeah and then you have like tom clancy games and you got the rabbits games get the rabbits games they sell they sell pretty well like two million three million dance, like uh, dan- what's what's the movie da- uh dance just oh, dance. dance just dance okay yeah, that, yeah just that, dance that game sells pretty well it's a yearly seller what else what else do they have and then you have like all those games in the works like beyond good and evil 2 yeah skull and bones games that probably will 20, 20 happen. to 40 billion i think somewhere in that range 20 to 40 billion yeah so somewhere in that range give, give or take a few bill a few bill <laughs> yeah somewhere in the somewhere in the twitter 44 billion range yeah you <laughs> jesus free speech is back baby <laughs> yeah, you can start you can start yeah you can after he takes over you can start uh going on twitter again i guess i don't know i don't know what is going to be different about twitter that wasn't Crazy. there before but who knows good for it him is. if he wants to spend that much on a social media platform but yeah good for him just being just casually drop 40 million dollars uh yeah. hey good on him for being rich yeah. you know <laughs> it's like a one a one person acquisition <laughs> oh my god whatever um yeah yeah maybe Sony's the only person I could see doing it, or only company I could see doing it. I don't, I don't see Microsoft doing it. Um, and anybody else would just be, I would be more of like a merger kind of thing, like yeah, Ubisoft EA thing. Um, yeah. What if, what if it was EA that bought Ubisoft? That'd be crazy. Just bought them out. Just bought them out. Yeah, yeah I don't, I, I don't I could, know. I, could I don't see know. Sony doing it, but also like. I don't know. I, I, maybe maybe to just expand what they currently have to 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 get more into multiplayer stuff. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I, yeah, I feel like Sony. The Sony has done enough acquisitions to please like their core fan base, like you know, the, like the single player fan base. Like yeah. you know, they, they acquired House Mark. They acquired um, Blue. Is it? It's not Blue Point, is it? What's they? Is it Blue Point? I don't think they acquired Blue Point, did they? They did. Did they? Yeah. Okay. Is that is that, am I thinking of the right company? The 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 Demon, Demon Souls Demon Remaster? Souls. Yeah. Yeah, that's Blue Point. Oh, I'm thinking of Blue Box. Blue Box. That's the one I was afraid of, afraid I was thinking thinking of. But yeah, they acquired Blue Point, House Mark. So that's kind of pleasing like their core fans, and now they I mean, you're you're probably right. They just want something that can help them go towards live service, yeah, and make money that way versus spending, you know, four hundred million dollars making, you know, God of War two and yeah. hoping that sells enough to make back their money. Like, but yeah, it, they're kind of like too big to fail. But if they have one failure, it might topple their budget for the year. So they probably need these these live action or not live action these uh live service games yeah to to consistently generate revenue uh it's on our, it's on our list here but I speak you mentioned god of war but yeah santa monica studios did say that it's on track for the new god of war to come out uh god, god of war riding around to come out this year so that's pretty cool yeah that's i guess that's their their big release this year yeah do they have anything else I mean, they had horizon in february and and gt7 and gt7 i mean i mean they're they may announce stuff so that the summer game fest or something that comes out this year but do they have anything else that comes out other than god of war is this is that it yeah hmm. but what does xbox have starfield Start. <laughs> what if that gets Dang. pushed <laughs> yeah i don't know the um what's the what's that vampire game the four-player vampire game redfall redfall that got delayed right uh, i think that's 2023 yeah or either that or holiday 2022 
right? Or am I just it's summer? It's supposed to come out this summer. Am I just assuming that it got delayed? Yeah, it was supposed to come out this summer. Did it? I don't think it got delayed. Oh. Maybe. Oh, it. it there, there's rumors that it might be delayed. Oh, that it might be. Okay. Yeah. I could see that. Yeah, we haven't really heard anything, so. I don't know. I. I. That's. I mean, we didn't. We haven't seen the gameplay of that game, so. Um, it's. It's I'm, not. Not the end of the world. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Curious about it, but. Mm. I'm not. Uh, after just not even attempting to play. Uh. Left for oh, blood, or back, back for blood. For blood. <laughs> um, yeah, which is which is I thought it was gonna be a day one for me, and I, I don't know why I didn't play it. I heard it was pretty pretty good, but came to Game Pass too. Yeah, I came to Game Pass. Even that's that just, can persuade. Yeah, just have I had it downloaded and everything, but just never, never even tried to play. Um, I, I don't know that demo. I, I played the demo and it, I didn't love it, but maybe you know. just. Maybe you don't love Left 4 Dead as much as you did 10 yeah. years ago. I think it's just hard to get four people to play together. Yeah. Just a sign of the times. Yeah. More than more than anything. Yeah. But you know what? <laughs> Thinking, you know, like, you know, PlayStation has their, their three or four games coming out this year. Xbox has their two. Nintendo, dude, they're always pushing out games. They have like they pretty much have a game coming out every month this have, year. There's two months in this year that we don't know or have anything slated for that those months, right? There's May, May and August, May, August, uh, and then October, November, December. But we'll know. I mean, we're assuming that a Pokemon game is going to come out in November. November assuming yeah. that um, that Scarlet and Violet. Assuming those are going to come out in November. They, they usually do, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know what else is slated. but when you, when you said that Nintendo would just randomly tweet out like a Zelda game, uh, uh-huh. I, I'm, I'm looking a little bit more optimistic about that, about that, uh, about that, um, that guess or, or that, that theory, uh, that theory, because I mean, with, you know, just, now it's in, you know, Xenoblade Chronicles and, and Splatoon. I mean, who knows what they got this week? They're just kind of <laughs> who knows what they flying got out the rails, said. man. It's a little... Now, I, I did say May was going to be the month for these games. For, yeah, I think, uh, I think that might be a little bit... Yeah, it might be a little bit too much. It's a little yeah. too close now. Like, it's it's all... Next week is going to be May, so... What, what do we have in June? Uh, June is Fire Emblem, Three Hopes... And okay. Mario Strikers. Okay. And then July is Xenoblade, Live a Live. Nothing in August. August August might be might be a good month for it. They announced a yeah Zelda something remake I, or I would say or, that or Mario and Rabbids. Did that not get pushed until twenty twenty three? I don't think so. No, I'm excited for that game. Yeah, I get was... that. Or like awesome. December for that game. I don't know. Maybe normally they have like their RPGs in December. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe they put out. Maybe they put out that double pack in December. Um, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking August, just because it's <laughs> it's. It's you're summertime. It's it's Wind Waker. It's water. And you're on a boat. Okay. It, okay. It meets that vibe. It's the vibe. It's the vibe. Um, it's kind of sort of kind of hit that vibe. It did. Yeah. It did. It did. That summer vibe. vibe. Um. So maybe. Maybe. Maybe we'll, we'll see. Hopefully, we we might know this week, or, or maybe and maybe they throw in the the Game Boy Advance stuff in August or something. Yeah. So, you know, we'll see. Mm. Ah, the possibilities. The possibilities are quite endless. Do you think Splatoon 3 has any sort of microtransactions or anything? No. You don't think so? No, I don't I don't think so. Okay. 
I, I would say that they do like something cosmetic, but the gear actually has a purpose. Yeah. Or it actually has like stat boosts. So I, I don't know what they would sell that wouldn't be pay to win. It's true. That is true. Yeah. I forgot that the gear is, yeah, actually does stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah. Skins. I don't know. skins for the guns. <laughs> skins for the guns. Yeah. Maybe. I just, I can't see that happening. Yeah, I mean, I mean the game's already sixty bucks, and you got to pay for Switch Online, right? So that's eighty bucks. Yeah, up front if you don't have online. Yeah. So, yeah, I think yeah, maybe maybe they do. Yeah, maybe they maybe they drop the Game Boy Advance stuff in, in August, get everybody in that ecosystem, and then boom, Switch or Splatoon three, everybody's ready to play. So I don't know, maybe. Do you think there's going to be a dedicated smartphone app, smartphone app for Splatoon three? I, I'm get I'm betting at E three or Games Fest this year they just eighty sixty app. <laughs> Be like, We're you think so? Guys. Uh, I don't know. They just need to. Nobody uses that thing. Yeah, everyone would just use like Discord or yeah. literally anything else. <laughs> it's like I'm not going to use your proprietary app to play one game. Yeah, it's it's horrible. Yeah. But yeah, let us know, guys. Um, that's gonna wrap up the uh the news. But yeah, let let us know what your theories are um for Nintendo's release schedule. It's always it's always fun. I don't know why it's the most fun with Nintendo, but it's always it's always the most fun yeah. to figure out what the heck they're gonna do because and who knows. And then we still have Advance Wars. We don't know when yeah. they're gonna slot that in. Yeah, maybe maybe they throw Yeah, I think it's is it time? Is it okay for them to release that? I think it's fine. Like if they if they tweeted tomorrow and said it was coming out in May, yeah, I think that would be fine. But maybe yeah. there's a stigma around it now. Now that maybe. they've delayed it specifically for the war. I mean, you, do you think if they would have released that game and not said a thing, do you think anyone would have batted an eye? I don't think so. Yeah. When was it supposed to come out? The end of. April. It was in April. In April. It would have been out by now, I think. Or or maybe I mean, maybe just because it's a game literally about taking over territory. Maybe that's yeah. and I think they do allude to the enemies being like Russia. Okay. In the original. Okay. 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 So it, it might have been a little bit too indicative of that, but But I'll, sure I'll that, also yeah. think if they just didn't say anything, they probably just could have released it and it would have been fine, but yeah yeah but yeah yeah i would say maybe maybe this is the august game maybe this comes out in in august sometime but oh yeah i think huh sorry i forgot about bayonetta 3 as well oh yeah (laughs) when is when does that come out is that september do we know did they have a release date for that yet i would i would call that an october game that's kind of got like a little spooky spooky. vibes yeah okay yeah i could see that which yeah yeah okay yeah, I totally forgot about being in a three. Um, at yeah. some point, we should do like a definitive rundown of uh, guessing Nintendo's release schedule for the rest of the year. Yeah, that'd be that'd be fun. Maybe we'll shoot for that next uh, next week or something. Yeah, that'd be fun. Maybe maybe we'll have some more information by then. Yeah, yeah. Who knows with Nintendo with the last couple <laughs> of weeks? Um. But yeah, that, that's going to wrap up the uh, the show, guys. Nick, where can they follow us on Twitter? They can follow us on Twitter at GamingWTBros. We do a lot of polls there. You can help me decide which, which games I'm going to buy next. <laughs> and yeah, a bunch of other stuff. And that's where we kind of tweet out, tweet out all the show information when we're going live, all that stuff. You can follow us right here on Twitch at GamingWithTheBrosCast. We are live every Monday at 8.30 p.m., EST ish ish yeah. right around I that had time we some, had some camera trouble for whatever issues. reason tonight i don't know literally, yeah. literally working up until the point where i just joined the zoom call and it <laughs> was just black and screen it, and then it didn't work um and i am going to um have my new capture card tomorrow so i'm gonna start streaming um i'm not gonna dedicate anything because i i tried doing that when i first started streaming and it was kind of a nightmare just because you know, some nights I was like, I don't really want to stream, but then I felt like I had to. 
So um, I'll probably stream tomorrow at some point. I don't I have no idea what I'm going to play, um, but I'll I'll play something just because I want to just want to test it out, uh, and see how it and see how it works. So yeah, if you if you want to watch us, I'm sure we'll at some point get together, Nick, and play something. Yeah, um, yeah. And then where else? What else we got? We got we got a uh, TikTok. Uh, gaming with the broscast on there we've we've been we've been uh slowing down our videos lately just because of elder ring yeah i've got a couple of podcast clips from last week that i've I've already got edited and done i just forgot to just Just because i've been rearranging that i just haven't put it up yet yeah yes follow us there for for more uh podcast clips and gaming videos and then yeah lastly if you want to email us any questions you can email us at gaming with the bros cast. Game with the bros, bros right? at yahoo.com. <laughs> gaming with the bros at yahoo.com. And there's also a, a Discord link too in the in the description of the podcast. Yes. Um, so join the Discord and we'll eventually do like a like a live QA or something um along those lines, but um we we just gotta start promoting it more. So we'll uh right. do yeah, something like get, that. Gotta get better at that. Yeah. Um I did we do have another review on Apple Podcasts. So what? shout out to It's Mr. Cool. Um it's another great review. So if you guys hate the show and you leave a, a nasty review, I'll read it. I'll still read it live. <laughs> uh but they they just all have all been good, positive reviews. So he says, Hey guys, love your podcast and glad y'all are making these. I found y'all from looking for podcasts talking about Elden Ring and loved it ever since. Shout out to Elden Ring. <laughs> Um, you guys remind me of me and my brother talking about games and nerding out. Keep it up. Oh, nice. It's Mr. Cool. We appreciate the uh, the positive feedback as always. And again, you know, if, if you've got some negative criticism, if you want to tweet at us or, or email us, let, please let us know. We're always looking to improve the show. And, yeah. 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 We do like the positive reviews, though. Yeah, <laughs> we, we do like <laughs> so the positive don't make stuff. a negative review just because you feel like you have to. If If yeah. you don't want to, that's fine, too. Yeah, exactly. Just yeah, if if you've got some positive stuff to get for chess about the shows, let us know, man. Chess, man. Yeah, just get it off. Just get it off. But yeah, um, that's going to wrap up the show. Um, I, I want to talk about Halo at the very beginning, but uh, the the latest episode was pretty badass. I don't know if you've seen it yet. I've not seen the latest two episodes. Uh, spoilers: you see jackals and grunts for the first time, so it's awesome. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I still still enjoying that, but. But yeah, we will see you guys um, next week. And if you want to possibly watch me stream something tomorrow, always uh, come and hang out. Come hang out. Yeah. But later, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you later, guys.